What's something small you can start doing today to better yourself? Be aware of the narratives we make up in our heads that only cause distress or anger. An example of what I mean. My friend hasn't texted me for three days. She must be growing tired of our friendship. More likely is that your friend is simply busy. I've been waiting on someone to respond to a text for the last four hours. And you can't imagine how much better you just made me feel. Thank you. Edit. Some of y'all are legitimately hilarious. Thank you for the laughs. To answer some questions. Yes I remember a time before cell phones. No I don't think I'm being ghosted. This is a person who I have a routine with. He is across an ocean and 8 hours ahead. So we chat every morning when I wake up before he goes to bed. It is very much not like him to not respond. One of the bigger things my therapist helped me realize is that I'm not the reason someone else is acting a certain way. I am not the source of their anger and frustration. So I shouldn't take their actions personally. It helps to disassociate yourself from what's happening to the monsieur. There's usually a reason why someone is doing something. And it helps to understand that you aren't the reason. Cleaning your surroundings. Every time I've gotten out of my deepest state of depression it started with doing the dishes or laundry. I cleaned my room for the first time in six months yesterday and honestly a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I feel so much happier. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I start every day by making our bed. It sounds like a dumb little thing that your mom would tell you to do just because. But it's a little routine that just resets one thing and makes it easier to fall into bed if you don't have to sort out covers at night. Donating, throwing out, selling old stuff you no longer use. Also, cleaning out your fridge. Just cleaned out my fridge. Turns out I had 5 jars of pickles and no real food. Also, lots and lots of sauce. Removed, but also don't procrastinate and start today. Allocate time more directly to maintenance of my body and home. I lost 100 pounds this year. All due to diet. I could be a lot healthier if I added 30 minutes of exercise. Then there's my house. After I lost my wife I had a lot of trouble motivating myself to clean and now certain rooms are really needing it. If I could allocate even just an hour a day to it I would eventually be able to get back to regular maintenance rather than feeling helpless every time I open the door to one of those rooms. Lastly, reading. I desperately want to get back into it and I've succeeded a couple times and loved it. But college broke my spirit of habitual reading and I'm not sure how to get it back. An hour is a lot. Start with 15 minutes, not more. Even if you think you are in the flow to do more. Just 15 minutes every day. That way you learn that using just a few minutes has a lot of impact. Set a date in your calendar for those 15 minutes. For example, right after you come home so you don't have to get up to do that. Edit. I'd like to elaborate on why you shouldn't do more than those 15 minutes. If you find yourself doing 2 hours then the next time you face the problem you will think it is going to take 2 hours and don't start it. Drink more water, less soda. Making the habit to show gratitude for the small things in life. That alone is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Oral hygiene. Gotta be more consistent when it comes to flossing. Go for a walk. Even just a short one. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome a few years ago and I could barely get out of bed but I forced myself to walk first to my mailbox, then the end of my street, and beyond. It may not seem like much but I promise it can make a huge difference. Edit. This has inspired lots of conversation which is amazing. Just wanted to add that while walking was a turning point for me in my recovery. But not the only thing. And I'm very lucky that it helped. It won't be appropriate for everyone. This original comment wasn't specifically directed at the CFS community though and more as a general tip to everyone. There are so many benefits to walking that I have experienced. Not just physically but I've noticed a change in my mood and emotional well-being too so for all. Those that are able I highly recommend you give it a go.
eating right, exercising more, and drinking a lot more water. I've been working out consistently, five to six days a week, for three months because of something my roommate told me. Work out for at least 30 minutes a week then eventually you'll build a habit and start going for longer. People often stop eating right or working out because they want quick results but it takes a lot of time, patience, and smart choices. Start thinking in long term, say, 5 years, medium term, say, a month to 6 months, and short term strategies, say, 1 day to a week. You can break the long term plan down into medium term plans, and the medium term plans into short term plans. What do you need to be doing today to get you to where you want to be next week? Next month? Next year? Once you've got that in mind and you get into the habit of taking manageable bites out of your life goals, it becomes a lot easier to achieve what you want. The advice I always give relates to writing a novel. A novel is 90,000 words. Give or take, if you write 250 words a day, every day, you'll have the first draft of that book you had rattling around inside your head on paper by the end of 2020. If that seems daunting, well, this comment is 210 words long. It took me less than 5 minutes to type up. And I'm only, what, 40 words away from being on target. How many Reddit comments do you write in a day? How many Facebook updates? How many tweets? A little amount of sustained effort is usually the best way to get where you want to be that's a really amazing breakdown thank you i know it's meant to be a metaphor for doing anything in your life but i actually do want to write a novel haha <laughs> so this is awesome start doing the rule of five if it takes less than five minutes to do a task when you see something and you're not already mid task just get it done You'll get your chore list cracked out a lot faster if you just clean the counters as you go around the house doing other stuff. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Kind stranger. Glad to be of help. D. Be actively kind to yourself. What did you do Tota that was great? Cherish it. On the other hand, when you're good at being kind to you, take the next step. What did you do today that you want to do differently tomorrow, next time? Just make sure you're not too kind to yourself, because that road usually leads to self-pity and sadness. Make sure you try to improve and do something, even some little things, then be kind to yourself. Start writing your goals every day and start checking them off whenever you complete them as your all my to-do lists start with make to-do lists so I can cross that off immediately and feel good about myself. If you're sitting on a couch, desk chair, or lying down, and you get up to go to the bathroom or kitchen, take something with you, the two empty water bottles near your bedside, or the dirty dish on your coffee table, knock out two birds with one stone, edit, holy moly, my first silver, after six years of being a redditor, if you're going north take something that belongs north with you, do something a little bit, work out a little bit, so you can be just a bit stronger. Eat a little more healthy, so you can be a bit healthier. Always improve on something at least a little bit every day. And in the long run, you'll be doing great. If you're depressed, try to make every day of no zero day. In other words, no matter how small an activity, you do something productive every day. It can be as small as taking the trash out or washing a dish. For me, i found just doing something like that starts to snowball even if it's just 10 minutes of activity and then I have a clean sink and dishes drying and no bags of trash sitting there smelling up the place and then it can inspire heavier tasks or not. But at least you did something. Set a goal for the day, even just a small one, and celebrate a little when you achieve it. Meditate, I'm gonna do this right now and start bettering myself. I've tried but can't get into it, I hate all that breathing. Except, you know, to live. Meditation is essentially focusing your attention on one thing. That thing can be your breath. And this is a very popular form of meditation. But it doesn't have to be. 
You can also repeat a simple word or phrase that is calming or centering for you. Use visualization, focus on sensations in your body, and more. What makes it meditation is one single point of focus too. When your attention wanders, gently bring it back to the point of focus. Source. I'm a meditation teacher. Taking cold showers. Hear me out for a second. I originally did this just as a stupid bet, but I never in a million years thought it would change me so much. Not only does your physical health change, but I felt so much more awake mentally, and just had a better general overall mood and a state of mind. Definitely would recommend to everyone. Edit. Reworded a sentence. Get a haircut, simple but effective. Bald guy, here. Instructions unclear. When I start to need a haircut I wait until I'm having a particularly rough day because a haircut just picks me up so much and makes me feel good. Having someone else shampoo your hair is so relaxing. Read books and if you're bored to read books or lack the time, then educational YouTube videos. There are thousands of really good channels out there that truly help you understand yourself and the world better. My favorite suggestions. TED Ed, Academy of Ideas, School of Life, Real Life Lore, Science Insider, Animalogic, Kurtz Kazakt in a nutshell. Switching to some plant-based foods. I'm a meat eater. I don't eat veggies. I don't eat fruit. I'm Scottish. I live for red meat and dying at 50. But, lads, I've seen the way. Some of that vegetarian stuff is actually really nice to the same level that you almost can't tell. I made some mashed potatoes. Vegan friendly, with gravy. Not so vegan friendly, and vegan sausages. So good, I recommend it, fully. Just switch one meal a week to vegan. You'll actually be so surprised how much fun it is. Greater than but, lads, I've seen the way. Some of that vegetarian stuff is actually really nice to the same level that you almost can't tell. I think that's the issue with it. Vegetarian and vegan foods can be and often are delicious in their own right, as well as being pretty cheap and filling. Vegetarian and vegan foods that are trying to be meat, on the other hand, are pretty much always going to fall short. As long as people have this unconscious idea that vegetarian food is missing something, it's hard to sell the idea that actually it can be fun, and I say this as someone who loves a good steak. Just sit down and study. If you're in high school like myself, even half an hour of solid studying with no distractions is crucial for passing exams. HS teacher here and you're absolutely right. So many students claim to have text anxiety when they simply didn't study or cheated on all the homework. Also, proofread your work so it makes sense and you don't lose credibility. A tip that will serve you well in college is to use slack time for studying. Say you have a class at 8 a.m. And God Almighty, you will and it's always math. And then a class at 10 a.m. is here you have an hour in between the two. It's tempting to just screw around on your phone or zone out for that hour but you can review what you went over in class just now or prepare for the next class or even get started on the assignment due next week. You may not finish the assignment in an hour, but you've gotten some of it out of the way which is less to do that evening. The other thing I recommend is have one day a week which is your fun day where you don't do anything academic and instead do stuff to relax whether it be watching a movie, going to a sports game, or even hitting a party. That one day is your cool down day so you keep your sanity. Treat yourself with the same respect that you show to other people. I've been struggling with my mental health again for the past few months. I am unhappy in my job due to being passed over for promotions. Last week my boyfriend of four years told me that he wanted to end the relationship and he's already started seeing other people. My counselor reminded me how important it is to respect and care for myself despite all of this. And to think about how I'd feel if talk to someone that I cared about in the same way that I talk to myself. It's not much, but it's helping to change my outlook by reminding myself that I deserve respect too. 
do 10 minutes exercises in the morning in a cold shower after it. Take back your cold frozen words. I will not have that voodoo around me. My flesh must be scoured with too hot water until I emerge lobster red and cleansed of my sins. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.